Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Get Digital. I should come up with a new saying for that, huh? I've been saying that for a long time now. I guess we'll say, uh, let's get digital Pokemon? <laughs> I don't know. So, this is part two. Really, it's just saving Wooloo. Let's see what, uh, Hao has to say. Come on, digital. We just can't leave that Pokemon on its own. It's been like three or four days since I've played, so... Oh, I'm being blocked since I don't know cut. Um, I'm hoping to remember. Ooh... Slumbering Wield. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. That Wooloo. Where do you think you got off to? Well, that's gross. Just kidding. The fog is really coming in thick now. I know, it's totally sunny like two seconds ago. If we don't find that Pokemon soon, it might be in trouble. Oh, this might be trouble. Good point, good point. But I gotta be weary. This is actually like... This part looks really good. Whoa! A squawk get. <laughs> Nova's gonna get his freak on. I knew it was gonna be a dude. Ugh. So I gotta. I'll change it to Magmar or something. I'll find another Pokemon that I. I don't have any Pokeballs, so I can't actually capture this Squavet. 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 Oh no! I wonder if a tackle could finish him off. Okay, I was looking at that, and I was like, please. <laughs> so Squilvet, I don't even know what he hit me with. It's, I think it was a tackle. Just a quick ember and tackle cleaned him up real fast. And let's go. The battle scenes, that looked really good. That looked really good. Even if it was simulated. Run! Okay. All right, what do you got to say? Doing all right there, Score Bunny? Let's be sure you're in tiptoe shape. Tight. Yep, just keep healing me. This is really kind of scenic and cool. Dude, I really can't wait for modders to get a hold of this game. And I know that the Switch emulator is like not ready yet, but just seeing like 4K emulation of Legend of Zelda, like I so cannot wait for those guys to freaking um, to clean up this game and make it just look beautiful. And I'm, dude, and it actually, it looks pretty good, but I can tell it just is rushed. And so when the modders get a hold of it, dude, I'll even donate to them. Freaking mark my words. Rook D. Okay, so I hit Rook D with an ember. He's getting in my business. And now let's finish him off with a tackle. Just like I did before. And I'll talk to Hal again, and then he'll heal up my my score bunny. Um it's too bad I don't have Pokeballs. I totally catch these guys real quick. At least I try to. Maybe I do have Pokeballs. No one's straight up said, like giving me Pokeballs, but I mean. How do we check that? Let's check our bag. So I got a potion. No Pokeballs. Cool. I don't need any such things anyway. Come on, Hal. Keep up. Did you hear that? Was that Pokemon carrying... Oh, was that a Pokemon crying out, you think? Why is he smiling? He gets like some sick satisfaction out of this. What the heck, dude? Freaking creeper. How can I... I thought you could avoid stuff. Um, I should battle this Squovet real quick just to get XP. I wonder if he's like battling a Rattata and help give me speed, but he looks a little chonky. Since he's a chonker, he might not give me anything. <laughs> I was really hoping that my score bunny was a girl, so I don't have to rename it. I technically don't have to, but Nova's not really a name for a dude. Uh, it's level three, so do I hit it? I'll just hit it with another Ember. That way we'll for sure get it. Ah, oh, feels good to be back in here. Feels good to be playing again. And Skulva is down! Okay, no more distractions, please. Yeah, we're almost level 8, which is good. Dude, I wonder if I could... If I could beat the gym tonight. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, Digital. That Wooloo might be in real trouble. Then don't stop me. I'm freaking running. Oh, okay, sorry. He's got to run in first. He's got to be the brave one. Okay, okay. I get it. I get it now. Okay. I'm gonna screenshot that and that. Uh, no, it came through alright. This is mad! I can't even see my own hand in front of my face! I think I get now why this place is off limits. Oh, you're gonna get snatched up. Dun dun. Dun dun. Dun dun. Oh yeah! Legendary! 
He just stares. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, this is a fair fight. Dude, I was shown the shiny one version of this today, and... Wait, you think we should run from this legendary, or you think we should go out with a fight? I'm gonna effing fight it. We're gonna go down without a fight, bruh. And, uh, the... The, uh... What? The move had no effect on it? Well, yeah, it's like a level 8 to like a level, what, 60? Anyway, the till color of the legendary looks so good. Heck no. Do it again. Jules can't see. I can't see anything. You okay? I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should keep fighting him or if I should just run. Because he's the one who's bringing in the fog. Well, we've got a duty. We've got a duty to protect that Wulu. So freaking tackle it. It's like a hallucination. He's going Luke Skywalker on us. I can't see anything. Yeah, he's using mist or something. Yeah, he's gonna kill you and eat you. Did I just lose the game? <laughs> oh, okay. You blacked out. Click! He's all, don't get in between me and my Wulu. Did he... <laughs> Digital. Digital, how? What, Lee? How'd you manage your fight right here? Your pants with directions. You always get lost. I don't know what that means. Oh, well, that's nice to hear from the little brother who had me worried sick. I've been waiting ages for you two, and you never showed. Of course I came looking for the both of you. Wait, where's the Wulu? We were trying to rescue that Wulu. Dumb face. Charizard is going to eat it. The little chap's just fine. Though all of you had fainted by the time I found you here. You know this place is out of bounds, but it took courage to come here all the same. And I can understand well enough why you did it. You did good, Hal. And at least Wulu's alright. Yeah, Digital? Yeah. I thought we'd had it when we... When we that weird fog started rolling in and that mad Pokemon attacked, but at least it wasn't all for nothing. Attacked by a mad Pokemon? What are you talking about, Hop? It seems it seemed load stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen, and it just had this sort of presence. Our moves didn't even touch it. I mean, really, they seemed to pass right through it. Your moves pass through it, huh? So the fearsome Pokemon they say live in the slumbering wild. Are they actually illusions or something? Get strong enough, and maybe the two of you could be the ones to reveal the truth someday. For now, let's simply get out of this place. You'll be all right now that I'm here with you. <sighs> I would have been fine without you. If we get an earful from Lee, what an experience. This will make pretty fine first page in the tale of my legend. Well, I wouldn't call that an earful. He helped rationalize it like instantly for you. How? Don't forget to tell your mom we're off to Wedgehurst now. She'll go spare if you leave without a word even worse than Lee just did alright alright let's go talk to mi madre yeah this part of the game looks pretty good <coughs> excuse me <Bye. laughs> score bunny first thing he does is just curse so he sees the mom well now, isn't Squirrel Bunny just a sweetheart? And yes, I heard about the news from young Leon. I'm glad somebody bothered to tell me. Off to Wedgehurst, aren't you? You almost died by some lunatic Pokemon in the dark woods that we just happen to live next to that you've never explored before because it's been off limits. So now you're just going to leave the house after this near-death experience after everyone couldn't find you and we had to send Leon out to get you? I'm glad someone bothered to tell me after Wedgehurst, aren't you? <laughs> Uh, I'm sure if this experience is anything to go off of, you're very trustworthy. Here we are, a bit of pocket money for your journey. Buy yourself a little something at Pokemon Center, maybe some potions or something. Remember that Score Bunny will battle to the very end for you. So don't you go pushing the poor deer too hard. Bye. 
<laughs> just swears again. Sorry, rip headphone users. And you, Score Bunny, look after my little digital. Look at look at Score Bunny and look at me. I'm like two and a half to three of the. No, I'm like three to five of these Score Bunnies. Come home to rest anytime that you need. After all, East or West, home is best. All right, gotta hand it to her. Looks like your sweet Score Bunny might be running on empty. Let's have you rest up. Yeah, we may as well. I mean, it did just try to battle a legendary that was way out of its league. As long as you have Pokemon at your side and the energy to carry onward, you'll naturally find that you'll always have a smile on your face. All right. Okay, well, that's it for part two. I'm going to keep it a little short this time. We uh, met the legendary. We don't know what its motives are, but it effed us up, passed us all out. It didn't eat the Wooloo like I thought it would, so that's kind of weird, seeing how it's a wolf and the sheep got lost from its flock, but that's not for me to say. So thanks, guys, for watching. I'll catch you again next time. Peace out.